The last force we are going to discuss is what we call the tension force. The ten uh, tension force is, as was mentioned earlier, whenever we have a piece of string. Uh, I took these images from this website here. He talks nicely about the tension force. But look at the situation. We have uh, some masses that we are tying to a string, and we are running the string through a pulley, and we have a spring scale here. So when you pull on the spring scale, it's going to read for you the tension on the string, or how taut is the string. So the read in there gives you the tension, and the key to the tension is it's going to be, if we have an ideal pulley, that's not going to result on some type of friction. Throughout the string, I'm going to have the same tension force, the same as, as what's read here in the, uh, in the scale. Another interesting picture from uh, that same website, this diagram that he made. So we have two spring scales here, and we are pulling on something. I think here it was a rubber band. The key here, both of these are going to read an identical value. Why would they read an identical value? Because the tension is going to be throughout. The, the rubber band here is going to be the same. Now, we have another situation here, the same graph diagram I used before. Uh, so we have like a roof here, and we have a string here, another string here, and another string here. So the key here, throughout this string, we have a tension. Throughout this string, we have another tension. And in this string here, we have another tension. And I'm going to try to ignore this... Uh, uh, okay, the phone here... Uh, uh, okay, now... Uh, The tensions here are different. One tension on the string, one tension on the string, one tension on the string. We don't take of tension. Uh, we don't talk of tensions only when we have strings. For example, bridges. You talk of the tension on each of the trusses, and that's a very important concept in dealing with bridges. I don't know much about it. Uh, it's a little bit more involved study of mechanics. But that's the basis of that. Okay, again, one last thing here. We had this diagram. If we have two masses tied together with a string through a pulley, if we have a frictionless, massless pulley, the tension here is going to be the tension here, the same, throughout the string. Now, if my pulley it's going to exert some friction, it's going to separate both ends, and I'm going to have a different friction here than here. Okay, let's, uh, we'll take this up with the next recording.